Hello and welcome to another model rail video. Now today we're going to be using Traintech products to install working lights and sound to a level crossing. And what you need for this is entirely supplied within the Traintech LC10 kit. Uh, you get a level crossing light with all the circuitry, you get a speaker, you get wires to connect the everything together. You also get a mounting cap and train tape also kindly centers a sensor to go in the track further up the line to start the sequence off. Uh, a bit of a disclaimer before we start, I bought the single. It's probably better to buy a pair because then you've got two working in tandem unless of course it's a small country lane which would only have one. Uh, if you also have a relatively small layout with quite a lot of trains going around at one time, I would suggest that you use a DCC accessory address to program the level crossing rather than using the sensor, which I'm going to do, purely because otherwise the alarm will be going off every 30 seconds or so, and you'll probably get tired of it quite quickly. But everything you need is supplied in the kit and no soldering is required. So let's get started. Okay, first step is install the Track Sensor Plus. This is really simple. It's done in the same way as the link wires uh, are on your Hornby train set. Uh, you can, if you don't want the uh, teeth to stick, underneath the rail you can cut them off and just use the sensor and then there's wiring instructions with the train tech instruction booklet but I'm just going to slot them underneath the rails you want them to be far enough up the line that the sequence will finish before the train arrives and all you want to do is just slot it in like that. Step two is connecting it to the light. Now to do that, you use the supplied single coil wire and it goes into the middle one and you know it's in because it'll click in place. And then the other end sits in the middle of the three, uh, holes at the top. Now I will put this all underneath the baseboard, it's just going on top for the moment so that you can see. The speaker doesn't have any polarity, which makes life a lot easier, and it connects to the two holes at the side, one and then two just in the side there like that. So I've been underneath the layout, I've got the light in properly, and I've got the speaker connected and the sensor connected. All we need to do now is add the power. Now this seems a good point to mention that Traintech recommends you use its wire, uh, single core wire, uh, just to protect all the components and they're close together so it just makes it easier reduces the risk of a short circuit. I should also mention that in the Train Tech kit, you also get Pico single level crossing kit. You have to paint around the outside, the red and the white. Uh, you can use prototype pictures to help you, but the red is always in the corners. So there's those as well. This is just a Hornby one that I got in a train set a few years ago. So all that's left to do now is connect up the power. And again, I'm going to use their wire. It's really simple. You just put it in the two holes uh, that are left. And if you're in any doubt, it's really easily explained in the instruction manual. So everything is now powered up and I've turned the layout on to get power to it. So if I bring a wagon up past the sensor, you will see that the sequence starts. Now, there are two settings 
that you can have. You can have that setting or you can have the, so you can have it for red and amber lights flashing for seven seconds or you can have it flashing continuously. I recommend continuous and it will keep the lights flashing until there isn't any movement at the sensor anymore and then it will go for another eight seconds or so so the back of the train clears the crossing and then the lights will go off. So if I bring the wagon in again and just keep doing this to simulate a moving train you will see that whereas before the lights went off this time they will keep going because there is movement by the sensor all the time simulating a long coach train or a 30 wagon coal train for example going past the lights and then as soon as I remove it away and there's no movement a few seconds later the lights will stop and there you have it and that is installing a train tech level crossing lights and sound to your layout again in under an hour. So that is adding train tech level crossing lights and sound to your layout. It does make a real difference. Um, as I said earlier, if you've got a small layout like I have and lots of trains, you may want to make it so that it's controlled by an accessory switch rather than a sensor, otherwise the siren will be going off every 30 seconds. Um, but other than that, it's a superb piece. It's relatively cheap as well. £25 for a single light, £45 for a pair. And it's so easy to do. This has taken me probably only around half an hour in terms of actual work. And that included drilling the hole and probably the painting as well. Um, and there's no soldering, which makes it really easy. Uh, and it's a great addition to your layout. But that's all for this episode of Model Rail. Shows you how to. Happy modelling.